Hallelujah. Good morning. Good morning, God's people all over the world. Rise and shine. It's praying time. Happy Friday to you. Glory be to God. Happy Friday. We made it to the end of a work week. We thank God that he has given us another opportunity to come before the throne of grace this morning to touch and agree in prayer. Hallelujah. To <clears throat> share the word of God. I am ever so thankful this morning, hallelujah, that the Lord has given his angels charge over us, woke us up today, given us the gift called life. And for that, we say thank you, hallelujah. So good morning once again to everybody that's in the uh, prayer session this morning. Good morning, Nicole. Good morning, Lola. Wherever you are viewing me from, let me know. If you are a first-time viewer, <clears throat> I welcome all the first-time viewers. Go ahead and put in the chat box where you are viewing from. Uh, for all the returning uh, Rise and Shine Prayer Warriors, good morning. Happy Friday. It's Free Flow and Friday. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I just thank God for you this morning. Glory be to God. Our prayer point this morning is the power of the tongue. The power of the tongue. And we will be reading Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 12. Before we get into <clears throat> the word and prayer, I'm going to ask that you do me a very important favor. Just take a second and hit that like button. If you hit that like button, you are helping the video to go out. And it's more than a video. It is ministry. It is <clears throat> that you are helping me. <clears throat> Woke up with a slight cold. <clears throat> you are helping me to share out the ministry. So just take a moment and hit that like button. And while you're at it, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notification bell. That way you will get the notification when it's time for Rise and Shine and any other uh, ministry message that the Lord is giving me. Hallelujah. You know what I like to say. I've been saying it for a while now. Sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. And so if you like this ministry and if this ministry has been a blessing to you don't hold back like comment share and subscribe amen hallelujah so we're going to get into the word this morning we thank the lord for waking us up once again giving us a brand new day hallelujah and we just covered this uh session under the mighty blood of jesus and we bind Everything that's not like God, we render it null and void. And we plead the blood of Jesus over our time together. We pray in the name of Jesus that the Lord will send his, his messenger angels, his warring angels, amen, hallelujah, to cover us. And that we make the most of our time together. And I do realize that some people are getting ready to go to work, getting their children and grandchildren off to work. Some people are just coming in from work. Some people are listening as they are preparing to go out. Whatever the case may be, I thank God for you. And so again, our prayer topic today is the power of the tongue, the power of the tongue. Amen. And I want to read for you Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 12. Hallelujah. And it reads as follows. Glory be to God. Mm. Proverbs 18 through 12. Before destruction, the heart of man is haughty. And before honor is humility. Ugh. I think I, I wrote it, I think I wrote it down wrong. But anyway, the scripture that I'm looking for is life and death. It's in the power of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Amen. Hallelujah. If somebody want to go and grab 
the correct passage for me. Glory be to God. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Glory be to God. So uh, as you come in, let's like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hallelujah. We're talking about the power of the tongue this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. I've already read, quoted that scripture for you. Amen. Life and death is in the power of of the tongue and as we do know that this decade starting 2020 is the decade of the mouth amen the decade of the prophetic the decade of the mouth so we have to be uh, very careful of the things that we allow to come out of our mouth amen Hallelujah, because it does work. Proverbs, I, I wrote down Proverbs 18 and 12, but I want to correct that. That's Proverbs 18 and 21. I guess I woke up with a little bit of dyslexia this morning. <laughs> but Proverbs 18 and 21, amen. Hallelujah. The tongue has the power of life and death. And again, this is... The decade of the tongue. The decade of the tongue. This we are living in a prophetic decade. Amen. Hallelujah. So we have to be very careful of what come out of our mouth because life and death is in the power of the tongue. So in essence, it's what you speak. What you speak. And if you really, really believe, it shall come to pass. Why? Because you are made in the likeness, in the image of God. Genesis chapter 1 and verse 26. Glory be to God. And some of you are very pers uh, persuasive. And some of you, uh, what comes out of your mouth is so heavy. Glory be to God. Some of you... Uh, you believe just that much till when you speak, it will come to pass. So life and death is in the power of the tongue. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Even Proverbs chapter 12 and verse 6 tells us to prophesy according to your faith. And have you ever heard before some people, uh, before they pass away, some of the things that they say just right at that moment. Uh, they were saying things and it happened just the way they said it. And then when they pass away, people say, she said that. He said that uh, because they were talking. They were talking that their debt is coming. And so you have what you speak. We have what we speak. Our words create our world. Our words create our world. You have what you say. And it's not all the time that you say something that it will manifest right then and there. Sometimes that thing is going out to create something. It's going out to build. Whatever you say, it is going out to build. And sometimes it may take a while to build. It may take a while to create, but your words are wor working. Sometimes your words work in your favor. Sometimes your word uh, speak against you. So again, James even said, the apostle James said, the tongue uh, set on fire the course of hell, hell fire. That's why the scripture said, Solomon said, because he was the wisest man in the book. Um, he was the wisest man at that time. But he said in the book of Proverbs 18 and 21, that death and life, life and death, it's in the power of the tongue. And so the, the tongue represents the words, words that you speak. The tongue represents words. Amen. So what are you speaking? It represents life and death. Have you ever 
been in a situation. This is in the natural. And we know the natural and the spirit sometimes collide. Amen. What we say in the natural take place in the spirit. Have you ever been in a situation where a person close to you or even yourself were given up for death and you uttered out of your mouth, you should live or I should live and not die and declare the works of the Lord. You stood in the gap for that person and you believe that that person should live and not die and declare the works of the Lord in spite of the doctor's report, in spite of what probably was taking place on the scene. But you open up your mouth and you begin to proceed and say, you will live, you will live and not die. I don't care what the doctors say. And somebody may be there trying to uh, administer CPR. They doing CPR, but you're on the other side saying live in the name of Jesus. You will not die. You will live. Maybe you were standing in a gap for a loved one in the hospital and they have already written that person off, but then you begin to speak with your mouth. Hallelujah. A change in the situation. And before you know it, hallelujah, that situation change. Come on. Hallelujah. Have you ever been in a situation? Glory be to God. When things were going awry in your life, not only your life, but maybe awry in your marriage, in your children. Excuse me. I woke up with a cold. Even in your own life and things look like it was going awry. Hallelujah. And you came into the power of agreement with it and you begin to speak damnation over the situation yourself. Have you ever been in that situation? Let's tell the truth. Instead of saying what God has said about the situation, instead of allowing the Holy Spirit to rise up on the inside of you and take command of the situation and begin to speak life over that situation. Or maybe that's not your story. Maybe your story is when things went awry at one point in time in your life. Maybe you allow the Holy Spirit to rise up in you. Maybe you begin to uh, believe God for his word. Maybe the word of the Lord came to you. Hallelujah. That remind you of that situation. That you had to stand on that situation. Glory be to God. And begin to speak life to that situation. And before the nick of time. You begin to see the situation change. You begin to take command of the situation. And speak what God said about that situation. Whether it's a bill being paid. Whether it's an argument of uh, ceasing. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. However it is, have you ever recognized that you have power in your tongue? Your tongue, hallelujah, can do good and it can do bad. Some people say, well, I'm not a murderer. I'm not a killer. I've never physically killed anybody. But a lot of times the words that come out of our mouth sometimes kill people. Come on. Hallelujah. Sometimes the words that come out of our mouth build people. Words build. Words build. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I write in my book, said ain't so power in the word. Come on. As we were growing up as children, we like we used to say when other kids will uh, be mean to us, saying mean things to us. How many remember saying sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never harm me. That was our little uh, defense coping mechanism. To just get the kids off of our back. Saying that sticks and stones may break my bones. But words will never harm me. It was just a coping mechanism. But if the truth be told. We have lived long enough to know. Hallelujah. That is not true. Words does kill. Come on. That's what the Bible says. That's what God allowed 
to be written in the Bible. Hallelujah. The word, the Bible, we call it the word of God. And it says that this word was inspired, hallelujah, by God. It is God breathed. And so if he allows Solomon to write it, and it made it into, hallelujah, the holy uh, scribe. Come on, hallelujah. That means that God co-signed on it. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. Let's go back to this decade. We're in the third year of the decade of the mouth. Hallelujah. Prophetically, we are in the third year. Hallelujah. Nothing has changed. This is the decade of the mouth. Hallelujah. The prophetic. And so what we speak, we shall have. When these things line up with God, we shall have it. Romans chapter 12 and verse 6 again says, prophesy according to thy faith. We call this, hallelujah, a free flowing Friday where we begin to prophesy as the oracles of God. Come on. Hallelujah. The other day I was reminded of the prophet Elijah. Hallelujah. When he said that it will not rain in, in three and a half years. And it happened just the way he said it. Yes, we know he was a prophet. And so his mouth, hallelujah, God has an, uh, did anoint his mouth, hallelujah, to be, hallelujah, a vessel as a oracle for him. He prophesied that the rain will come back after three and a half years. And the rain did come back. Yes, Elijah was a prophet. God has anointed me, hallelujah, and called me into that ram again as an as a oracle for him. But then there, and, and what I want to bring out in that story, God did not tell Elijah, you did not hear when you read that, you don't hear, thus said the Lord, it will not rain in three and a half years. No, hallelujah. This was not something that he had to say, thus said the Lord. Because he was a prophet, he knew that he was an oracle of God that he can speak. Hallelujah. And it will happen. He knew that what he spoke, that God will come for his word. Come on. Hallelujah. That God will do it for him. Glory be to God. So it's not all the time that I hear, thus said the Lord. When I do hear, thus said the Lord, then you will hear me that I say, I hear the Lord say, come on, somebody. And there are just some times, come on, glory be to God, the prophetic just rise up in me because I am an oracle of God. And I will begin to decree this is going to happen because I know that God will come for his word and back up his word. Come Come on, hallelujah, because he said, I anoint your mouth to speak forth my word. Glory be to God. God did not rescind his mandate upon my life. God did not descend, rescind, I'm sorry, his mandate upon my life. And so I want you to tap in to the prophetic this morning. And this is why I say free flow. Friday. Remember Saul, the king Saul, when he went down to the school of the prophets, the prophets were prophesying. And because the king, king Saul came under the atmosphere of the prophetic, Saul began to tap in to the prophetic climate and he began to prophesy. And then the people began to say, is Saul among the prophets? They began to wonder, was Saul a prophet? Can I tell you, Saul was not a prophet. He was still the king of Israel, but he came into a prophetic climate. Come on, somebody. It's like when you are driving, hallelujah, I liken it to this. I have had the opportunity to drive from one region of town to the other. Say, for instance, Florida. Come on, somebody. I see somebody made a joke about Florida uh, the other day. Say Floridians like to say I'm going on vacation. And really, really, we just driving from one city to the other. But even in that time, say, for instance, I'm driving 
from leaving Miami, hallelujah, and I got the radio on, and it's loud and clear. But when I hit a certain juncture, hallelujah, then I begin to hear static, static, static. Glory be to God, because I have left one region, and now I'm going into another region. And when I get into another region, and then I begin to hear the switch turn on, and I'm picking up another radio, I'm picking up another signal, I'm picking up another channel. Are you hearing what the Lord is saying? And now all of a sudden, everything is clear. Come on. Why? Because I have tapped into a frequency. I have tapped into a channel. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I stepped into another region and I'm able to pull in. And now I can hear clear. Come on. Glory be to God. This is why I say Free Flow Friday. No, you don't have to be a prophet, but life in debt is in the power of your tongue. You can turn a situation around. The words that you speak, they can become life. They can become death. They can make a situation. They can break a situation. Come on. Glory be to God. When you are under Glory be to God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Have you ever heard this saying before? Uh, one of your friends, family members, or maybe yourself have drunk some alcohol. Come on, let's tell the truth. Glory be to God and shame the devil. And then you start acting unseemly. Or maybe it was your mother, your father, your brother, your friend. Glory be to God. They begin to act unseemly, not themselves. And then people say they were under the influence under the influence, come on, they was under the influence of that spirit, that spirit of alcohol, got them intoxicated, and now they are not acting like themselves, somebody may be saying, Apostle Proctor, where are you going with this, well, I thank, I thank you that you asked, that's, let me take you back to Saul, when Saul went to the school of the prophet, he became under the influence, come on somebody, he became came under the influence of the prophetic realm. Glory be to God. You're under the influence this morning. You're under the influence of the prophetic realm. And this is why I say, begin to prophesy over yourself. Come on. Begin to speak life over yourself. Begin to speak. You don't have to wait for the prophet to speak. Hallelujah. One of the mantles of Jesus. Jesus had five mantles. Apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, and teacher. Come on. Glory be to God. Jesus wore those five mantles, come on, glory be to God, hallelujah, if you want to bypass me, glory be to God, tap into the mantle of the prophet of Jesus, come on, didn't the people say, oh, he's just a prophet, come on somebody, he was a prophet, glory be to God, so begin to tap in, don't wait for me to say Shanera, thus said the Lord. Don't wait for me to say Bonnie Cake, thus said the Lord. Come on. I'm trying to help you to move into it. Glory be to God. I'm trying to help you to know, glory be to God, that Christ Jesus lives on the inside of you. Don't wait for me to say Elder Kim, uh, thus said the Lord. Come on. The greater one lives on the inside of you. And if you know his word, come on, you will begin to speak what thus said the Lord. I don't care what it look like. Come on. Begin to speak life over your situation. Glory be to God. And can I tell you when you begin to speak life, that same anointing that pulled Lazarus from the dead will begin to pull your situation from the dead. It's called the anointing, hallelujah, of the resurrection. Come on, in Greek it means stand up. Stand up. Come on, everything that's dead on this free flowing Friday has to stand up. Come on, and everything that needs to die. Glory be to God. And you're saying, God, why? God, why? Sometimes you got to take that thing and, and, and put the junk, uh, the word of God to the juggler vein. That it will die. Come on. Glory be to God. I'm not giving you another opportunity to rise up. 
I'm not giving you another opportunity to rise up. I'm going to command you to die right now and right here in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Let me just share mm, a, a, a testimony with you. Glory be to God. Sometimes you got to put the word of God on it. Hallelujah. Life and death is in the power of your tongue. You have been, you've been made in the image and the likeness of God. I've given you all kinds of examples. I told you what e e Elijah the prophet said. He didn't say, thus said the Lord. He said, hallelujah, the rain is going to stop. Come on, hallelujah. He spoke as the oracle of God. I've given you the example of Saul. When Saul came under, hallelujah, the influence of the prophets, he began to prophesy. Come on, hallelujah. I'm telling you, glory be to God, that God allowed uh, Solomon to write this, to tell you death in life is in the tongue. I told you, glory be to God, by Genesis chapter 1 and 26, to remind you that you was made in the likeness, in the image of God. Glory be to God. Yesterday, I was sitting right here. Hallelujah. Yesterday morning. And right here is, is the door. So, it's two doors. The interior door. And then I have the outside door, the bar door. I had the interior door open just to catch air. I wanted to jot down some things and came out of prayer and God gave me some something. And I just wanted to, to write it down. And all of a sudden, with the interior door being open and uh, the screen door was there locked, but the interior door was open, all of a sudden, I didn't hear the Lord say, look down. All of a sudden, he just directed me to look. And I seen this long, swiggly thing had made itself under the screen door and halfway. And I jumped. It startled me because I didn't know what it was. I knew it was a creature. And I jumped and I went to slam the interior door. And that thing literally freaked me out. I had my laptop sitting here. And when I jumped, everything fell over. I, I didn't even know it fell over because I, I jumped just that fast. So I jumped up, went out this door, came around the side, and I saw what it was. Big snake uh, stuck in the middle of the two doors. Body half out, body half in. I didn't know what to do. So I ran and got bleach and pneumonia. That was the only thing I knew to do. Ran back outside and stopped pouring the bleach and pneumonia on it, thinking it was going to kill it. Came back in the house and said, I wait for it to die. Was restless. Ten minutes later, I went back out. He's still there, still wiggling and everything. So I ran and got more bleach. Poured it on him. Poured it on him. And then the body came long because it was coiled up, coiled up on one side, long on the other. And so I'm like, okay, now it's going to die. 15 minutes later again. Mm. 15 minutes or so. Something of that nature went back out. He's still there. So I've never encountered this before. So I got pine saw. I say, well, if the ammonia didn't work, the bleach didn't work. And in my laundry room, I got pine saw. Went back out there, took the pine saw and poured it all on him. And then I was telling one of my cousins, because I sent her the video. She said, you don't have a... a, a um." A machete? I say, yeah, but I'm even scared to go in my laundry room because that's where I keep it. But I remember I had another one in my utility closet. So I went and got the machete. And you know, your Caribbean people say the cutlass. <laughs> so I went and got it. And part of the body was wiggling out again at this time. So I got the cutlass, the machete, the tip of it, and I began to 
press into it, press into it. And it seemed like that thing won't die. But the word of the Lord rose up in me. What? It's Luke chapter 10. Says what? Now in verse 19. It said, Behold, I've given you power. Power to tread upon the scorpion and the serpent. And that's a serpent. And so I kept. I kept like this, I kept like this, and it seemed like it won't die. So I finally held it down like, you know what, got to the head and just kept pressing it and pressing it. And finally the head separated. Mm. So what am I saying? I got all kind of messages out of that. You got to chop things off at the head. Come on. You can't play with the enemy. Glory be to God. You got to stand on the word of God. You got to stand on the word of God. When I decree and declare Luke 10 and 19, glory be to God. I got power. Glory be to God over the serpent and over the scorpion. Glory be to God and that head separated. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And because I did not... Use that cutlass, uh, uh, the uh, machete in a long time. It was dull. Come on. It was dull. Glory be to God. And so the takeaway I got from that, you cannot afford to let your sword get dull. And when I say sword in this term, I mean the word of God. Come on. Sometimes we only go to the word of God when we are going through. No, but you got to stay in the word. Come on, somebody, because you never know when you're going to come up to a situation. Come on. Glory be to God where you're going to enter into warfare. That thing may seem natural. Glory be to God, but it could equate to the spirit. Never let your sword go dull because you don't know. Hallelujah. When the enemy come in, the Bible say he come like a thief in the night. And in the night, you are really not prepared most of the time because while you're laying down and you're getting ready to sleep or perhaps you're already asleep. But before you go to bed, did you read the word of God? Did you sharpen your sword? Come on, somebody. Glory be to God. I told my cousin I could get many messages out of this one thing. Glory be to God. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. What are you saying out of your mouth? Come on. Hallelujah. Are you allowing what people say negatively about you? Glory be to God to go in the wind like that and you're not doing nothing about it. Or are you standing on the word of God? Isaiah 54 and 17. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. And every tongue that rise up against me in judgment, I condemn it now in the name of Jesus. I shut it down in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. What are you doing? Are you speaking life when life needs to be spoken? Are you speaking death when death needs to be spoken? Come on, somebody. Power, hallelujah, is in your tongue. Glory be to God. The tongue roll off words. Come on. Hallelujah. That tongue, that word means interchangeable to the words that you speak. Come on. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. God has shown himself mighty to me many times. Come on. Glory be to God. Just by me speaking the word. Just by me speaking the word. Come on. Hallelujah. The other day I had to enter into a business contract. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And I prayed before. Glory be to God. I approached the person. I just say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory be to God. God, you know I'm willing to pay because I never want to. Hallelujah. Bamboozle people. And I hate when somebody do that to me because the Bible say a workman is worthy of his hire. But there's still something called negotiation. Come on. Because somebody say it costs that much. And if you know that you can get it for cheaper, and I'm not talking about bamboozling somebody. Hallelujah. I just simply begin to pray and say, God, you know, I really can't afford this. I would like this job. Hallelujah. God, please let this, let this service come down just a little bit. Come on. God, I'm willing. I have this. Hallelujah. And I'm willing to pay it. Glory be to God. When I approach 
Glory be to God, the person that was going to do the work. Hallelujah. She, she was like, I, well, I don't know. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll help you. Amen. Hallelujah. What am I saying? There's power in your tongue. Power to live or power to die. The choice is yours. The choice is yours. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Are you sharing? Are you sharing? Are you sharing? What are you prophesying about this morning? Hallelujah. I want to be your partner this morning. I want to partner with you. Amen. Hallelujah. Go ahead and put it down in the chat box. Hallelujah. I'm not. Hallelujah. Hallelujah is saying, thus said the Lord over you today. Hallelujah. I want to say, thus said the Lord with you today. Hallelujah. Go ahead and put it down in the chat box. Let me go ahead and hallelujah. Coming to the power of agreement. Come on. Hallelujah. What are you speaking life over today? What are you speaking death over today? Glory be to God. Come on, let me come into the power of agreement with you. I'm looking in the chat. The Bible says when any two touch and agree on anything, it shall be done. Come on. Hallelujah. Do you trust the one? Hallelujah. That's in agreement with you this morning. Do you trust me today to come into the power of agreement? Hallelujah. With you this morning. Hallelujah. I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking. Le karobo shande. Rikora mashando robo sakata. Rekoro kondara masikata. Reketere kurokota. Bonnie Cake say, I speak increased finances. Hallelujah. I come into the power of agreement with you. The Bible says, glory be to God. He gives seed to the sower. Amen. Hallelujah. As long as we sow into the kingdom of God. Amen. Hallelujah. It shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. Glory be to God. Who else am I decreeing and declaring with today? Glory be to God. Who am I coming into agreement with today? Glory be to God. Well, I want you to come into agreement with me. Hallelujah. That I will be booked and busy all year long. Glory be to God. Booked and busy for the honor and the glory of God. Hallelujah. That I will get paid what I am worth. Amen. Hallelujah. Who is coming into agreement with me this morning? I decree and declare. Hallelujah. That I'm booked, busy, and will be paid every penny that I am worth. Glory be to God. Le masiko robasa. Reko robo sikata. Rendiriku roko rabasakata. Father, we thank you. We praise you today. We magnify your name. We glorify your name today, God. We thank you for the prophetic unction in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Father, we thank you for sending your angels right now in the name of Jesus. God, you know those petitions, those unspoken petitions in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, we pray right now that the angels of the Lord are coming for our prayer petitions in the name of Jesus and sending it straight to the throne room of God. Father, we pray right now that the angels of the Lord are descending back to the uh, the the earth with the angels right now, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you right now that we are strong in the power and the might of Almighty God. We are seated in heavenly places with Christ. Father, we decree and declare that we have no lack. All of our needs are met in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you that our households are on one accord in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare in the name of Jesus that everything we touch Hallelujah, hallelujah will come to pass. Glory be to God. Father, we thank you right now that even that doctor's appointment, hallelujah, that Elder Kemp is getting ready for, hallelujah, that it will be a good report in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, hallelujah, that you are Jehovah Rapha. You are the God that healed us. 
Father, your word say, whose report should we believe? We believe the report of the Lord. Lord, we decree and declare, hallelujah, that you're giving us the unction to function. Glory be to God. Father, we thank you that we should know the truth and the truth shall make us free. Lord, we decree and declare that you are revealing your truth to us. In the mighty name of Jesus, we decree and declare that the promises of God is working over our life. Father, we thank you right now. Lord, I pray over every person that is listening, that is viewing today, God. In the name of Jesus, God, we bind up every hex, every vex, every word cur curse, that every incantation, every jinx that was sent that way. We bind it. In the mighty name of Jesus, we cancel every plan, every strategy of the enemy right now. Lord God, we loose your word over our life as we go out today. God, we thank you that your promises are manifesting over our life. We cancel every form of sickness and disease in the name of Jesus. We call for an order in our life, the order of the Lord over our life. Father, we thank you right now. Oh, we bless your name today. We bless your name, God. We bless your name, God. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you that you are turning. Hallelujah. Difficult situations around. Lord God, we ask that you will bless our bread, bless our water, bless our going out, bless our coming in, bless our children. Lord, may we, may we walk in your divine promises, oh God. Hallelujah. Lord, we pray that we be obedient to your word. Glory be to God that when we hear you say this is the way, walk in it. God, we pray to be obedient. Lord, we ask that you will forgive us of all our sin and we forgive all those that have trespassed against us. Lord, we thank you. We thank you right now. God, we thank you for a great awakening in our lives over our businesses over our families, O oh God. Father, ekarobo shanda, rikorobo shata, even over our ministries, O oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, I prophesy the blessings of the Lord over your people today in the mighty name of Jesus. God, I pray that you would take them to rams and dimensions in you. Hallelujah. Glory be to God that they have yet to tap into. Hallelujah. In Jesus' holy name, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Father, we just thank you and we praise you. Glory be to God for another gathering of rise and shine. It's praying time, Lord. We thank you that your word, hallelujah, the word, hallelujah, will be hid in our heart. Hallelujah, that it will come to pass. Hallelujah, that it will open up the understanding of your people, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you, O oh God. Hallelujah, that you're answering our prayers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, we thank you. We thank you. Yes, Nicole. Hallelujah. I come into agreement with you. Hallelujah. That God will give you the strength to stand. That even God is healing your body. Hallelujah. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Hallelujah. That God is working on your blood. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I decree and declare that the Lord is working on your blood. Hallelujah. In Jesus' holy name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. This is a great day. The day that the Lord has made. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. And if this ministry has been a blessing to you, glory be to God. This Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Hallelujah. I'm going to ask that you be a blessing back to the ministry by sowing only $7. Amen. Only $7. Glory be to God. Know that your giving, hallelujah, may leave your, your wallet, but it will never, ever leave your life. It is on a assignment and it shall yield a godly harvest. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Come on and be a blessing. Glory be to God. Hallelujah to the ministry. Amen. God bless you and have a wonderful day. Hallelujah. I thank God in advance. Glory be to God for all those that have sown, sown or will sow. Amen. Hallelujah. Have a blessed day. Bye for now. Until we meet again, make it a great day.